one wartime. And I am a wine connoisseur. Um, I've just sampled this uh, uh, Le Cays uh, Carbonet Sauvignon 2016 and I was a great wine. Um, I've just sampled this bottle and I think this is this definitely gets a um, ooh, three, three, respectable three for that one. But today I'm going to be telling you how to taste wines for yourself. Because when you taste a wine, you want to get the best possible flavour out of it. So you, so you know, do I like this wine? Do I not? Is this wine up to standard? So, here is the classic uh, Castillo uh, Cadeto and um, Gran uh, Reserva 2010. Uh, product of Spain. And this is a classic. And um, here is a sample glass. So, let's begin. So the first thing, when you're served a glass at a restaurant, a taster, uh, the first thing you want to do is look at the wine. You want to study it. And studying this wine may tell you very important um, clues. So you get the wine. Lift up, you observe it deeply, preferably through a candle like so. Well, the next step when tasting wine is to smell the wine. Now, some wines can be quite strong, so it's important that when you first approach a wine, that you smell it from a distance, perhaps with a serviette like, like so, and just waft it towards you because. Some strong wines, um, if you smell them too close, they can harm your insides. Um, so just waft it towards you with a uh, with serviette, like so. Getting some of that smell, lovely. Yep, this this wine is is from um, Aix en Provence. Um, I'm a con obviously connoisseurs like me will be able to tell this um, by scent alone. Um, this might take more practice um, if you have a lower connoisseur score. Now, after this has come in handy, a great thing to do is just to lift it close to your, uh, close to your face. Just waft it in with, with a hand, just like that. Okay, definitely getting a better scent now. Just um, waft it, waft it in. Once you know it's safe, you can move it. Get that whiff. This is a this is a classic. You can tell this is a classic because um, it is. So this this wine has um, definitely been stored in an aluminium barrel, maybe maybe lead, um, not wood. If you would, you get a more distinctive, slightly rotten smell. Once you've once you've stopped sniffing, stop sniffing. You um, go up to your mouth, and you just get a slight taste. Get a slight taste. Really move it around your mouth, one side, and just release that taste. Like so. And what this does is you just recirculate it around your mouth. And from that, you've really, you've really released all the flavour to all parts of your mouth. Um, but that's very, very important. Now, after you've done that, you can then, you can then move deeper. What you want to do is you want to aerate the wine, like so. Like so, you might want to do this over a prolonged period of time to aerate it properly. Um, just, just, yeah. just gently. Wow. 
Well, what can I tell from that? Well, from that, I can tell whether it's been corked or not. One, that one is not being corked. Two, whether it's been grown in, in predominantly rain climate or sun climate. That's a rainy one, I will say. That's a rainy one. And number three, another thing you can tell about this is the kind of person who picked it. Um, because the height, specifically, and the colour of the hair. Um, I, I think this is about, that was definitely a medium height person who picked the grapes for this wine. Um, and um, they were ginger. So, the next thing you want to do is just swirl it around the glass. Like so. You can tell exactly like how old the wine is in, in years, by how long it takes to settle. So if you just swirl it around like so, just swirl. Oh, yep, yeah, that's a good. Let's come back in. Two thousand and four. An excellent year for wine. Now, once you've done all these steps, you can then drink the wine. Um, as um, like so.